Y C Kabuyao <coughs> R from the regional office I Imo City S San Pablo City Ta Tayaba City and L Lipa City at narinito na po ang magbibigay po sa inyo ng informasyon sa Manila paper na ito. Si Ginoong Jeffrey Astillero, ang Senior Education Program Specialist ng Kabuyaw City. Thank you po, Sir Luis. Hintay ka muna, ilagay mo din ito. Diyos ko, para medal ito. Okay, for our uh, presentation, this is the collaborative efforts of the Crystal team. So, uh, for the number one question, which is uh, Bera re uh, Basic Education Research Agenda, can it fit? Yes. How? Uh, through uh, good governance, uh, transparent, ethical, and accountable governance. And then limitations, uh, what are they? Uh, of course, we have uh, limitations uh, in the schools, divisions, region, and uh, regional level. And then, uh, dito pa rin pa tayo. How? Uh, okay, so how? Ay yung level dito sa schools, division, region, regional level. Sorry. Tapos kaya namin siya ano? Uh, may implement. Sabi po nila. Ay sabi po namin July. 2019. Kasi po, <laughs> ano na? Kasi nutrition month. Okay po, yun po. Tapos so, naman po sa structure, can schools adapt it? Yes. Malaking yes po. And then, uh, how? Through school-based feeding programs, yung pong uh, ginagawa naman po natin sa DepEd, and through partnerships with the NGO, uh, local government unit, parents, and uh, yung PTAs. And then, what are the limitations? So, uh, we thought of the week's uh, stakeholders' participation. Uh, we have also limited funds. And, of course, if uh, there will be no people to uh, be held, uh, yung wala talaga magtatrabaho, it will be uh, magiging mahira po na implement po yung program. And for the mainstream and sustainability and other issues, uh, we have... Uh, thought of MOA or a memorandum of agreement and then memorandum of understanding and then of course to ensure that the program is uh, sustainable and uh, we have to have the strict monitoring and evaluation as well as to think of uh, ways to continuously improve uh, the program kaya nga po tayo di ba meron tayong mga research and other uh, endeavors uh, towards improvement. And in the same way, we have two... Ay, yung issues po na nakita po namin is uh, yung mismong, uh, the name itself, which is Zero Hunger uh, Initiative. And the attainment of that zero is really uh, a challenge for us. So that could be an issue. And that's all. Thank you. Para po sa ikalawang bahagi, hello. Narito naman po ang Education Program Specialist 2 ng Tayaba City, si Gina, eh, si Miss Los Biminda Salotares. Tagahawak, dito po tayo sa umu. Ah, wala na. Inalis na po at wala na daw po kahawak. Good afternoon everyone. For research, um, lahat po itong hawak ko na pinag-discussionan po namin dun kanina, all will be for level 1. So more on profiling po, first one po for gender and development and in general para sa health talaga ng barangay. Ano ang isip kasi namin dito, ang paggagalawin namin, ang imamobilize, would be senior high school students. So, magpo-profile sila ng mga households ng lahat ng barangays ng Tayabas na meron at walang CR. Okay? Um, tapos yung mga households na may CR, uh, separate ba ang sa lalaki at sa babae? And then, profiling din ng families with waste segregation. So, mga households na talagang nagsasegregate ng basura 
at gaano din kadalas na nakukuha sa mga households ang mga basura. And then, sa mga parbarangay din, may mga outreach programs ba na nare-receive para sa mga feeding programs? So, profiling din po siya. Para makita po, ma parang needs assessment po muna siya, saka palang papasok yung mismong research. Profiling ng families with cases of malnutrition from ages 0 to 12. And then, uh, profiling of families uh, with pregnant mothers. Kasama dito sa pregnant mothers, ilan sa kanila ang nag undergo ng prenatal checkup? Yan po. Uh, I-share ko lang po ng konti, ang Quezon Province, uh, sa initiative po ng aming governor, Governor J.J. Suarez, ay may programang first 1,000 days. Uh, hindi pa rin siya ganun kalawak yung naaabot nun, pero medyo marami-rami na rin nakikinabang. Ang isa sa nakikita ko na pwedeng gawin sa amin sa Tayabas, makita sa lahat ng mga barangays, gaano talaga naaabot na ng program na first 1,000 days ang mga nanay. So, yun po. Sa agri-food system po, ang isa pong naiisip namin ay uh, pagkakaroon po ng poultry, pigiri, tsaka gulayan within the vicinity of the school, yung sa school premises po. Kasi sobrang lalawak po ng ng lupain ng mga schools po ng Tayabas. Kaya lang sa, when it comes to finances po, medyo tagilid po. Medyo kulang po ng support. So, yun po. Yun lang po. Thank you po.